Okay, I'm gonna, gonna use a tape measure. I'm gonna make a guide. Comes down one foot. Now I'm gonna make a guide that goes out one foot. Make a guide that goes out one foot. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. From here, this one's already goes down one foot. I'm gonna make click on the tape. One foot. Okay. Now, I'm going to select my protractor tool, which is if you come down into tools, you can go to protractor. I'm going to click right here, and then right here, and up. I'm going to make that random. Okay. My angle, I'm going to redo it, I'm going to make it a, my angle a uh, 4 uh, colon 12 pitch. Uh, let me make that a 6 12 pitch, that's, that's not 6 comma 12, that's a little better. Do the same thing on this side. Come here. Draw here. Just make it go up. And I'm going to hit 6 colon 12 pitch. Okay. Now I'm going to use my uh, line tool. I'm going to hover over here. I'm going to draw line all line I'm gonna go up uh, 5.5 inches oh actually no I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me uh let me get rid of that that's not right let me hit undo draw that line I'm going to draw a guide. Yep, hit the tape measure button. Hit here, anywhere on here. Draw this out. This has got to be 5.5. Oh, that didn't work. Five. Do the same thing on this side. Come out. Five point five. Okay. Well, now you can see that uh, I need to draw some lines. Okay, starting over here, let me use my push pull tool. I'm gonna go that way a little bit. Hey, okay, make this 1.5. Okay. I'm gonna uh, let me uh, delete these guides. Let me uh, triple click that, make this a component. Create. I'm actually going to draw some lines in it. Draw a line.
Okay, let me see. Alright, yeah, let me uh, draw a line here. And move this up uh, about four inches. I'm going to move this. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. this a uh, color okay. all right all right I'm gonna zoom in I select this I'm gonna use the move tool I come here drag it hit control Stop right there, hit 23.25 and drag this over a little bit. Use the move tool, do the same thing. Drag it, hit control, stop right there, hit 24. Now I'm going to go times 6. So we can get a couple more of those. Yeah, actually, let me zoom out. Looks like I drew one too many, so I'm just going to delete that one. Now this one I gonna I'm gonna have to move this one over a little bit. So um, what I like to do is just uh, I feel the easiest way is just to uh, select it, hit the move tool, copy it, and then hit Control so that it stays in line. And then I delete the original one. Select it, hit the move tool, and I just and I go right here and just go slow. And as I'm moving it, I hit control, and I just man, I, I just try to try to move it along and snap it right there. Okay, now I right click the old one and delete it, and it should be good. Okay, looks like everything's drawn good. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, select this, hold down Control, make all my rafters a group. Okay. Now I need to draw my. Uh, fascia board which is I'm going to have a rectangle coming out from here right click do the push pull I'm going to make this uh, 1.5 make that a component I'm going to color that Draw that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm using a rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. Hit push pull. Come out, hit 1.5. I'm going to uh, triple click. Make that a component. 
Pick the paintbrush, uh, paint bucket. Use a plywood. Color that. Okay. Now I just gotta put some sheathing on this, and I'll be done. <laughs>